How's it, Sean from Mel's YouTube book site, YouTube channel? Today we're going to be talking about vowels number one, inner expression. All right, so before we get started, please subscribe to our channel. It's free. And uh, also make sure you hit that notification button so that you can, you know, get updated with all our videos, all our future videos. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Number one monad is the crown above the head that is the genesis of all creation, whose attribute is will and whose essence is divine love, which represents the kether in the Hebrew tree of life. In order for number one monad to reach out and take form, it had to cast its own reflection, and by doing so, it created a positive and negative pole. For example, unity separating itself. Number one monad is the positive male principle electricity, and the opposing end. Number two, duad, is the negative principle, magnetic attraction. Both are necessary for creation, since it is spirit's descent into matter. Thus, the number two duad is the dividing line between spirit and matter, and represents all duality. Number two duad represents the beginning of knowledge of good and evil, error and truth, and all contrasts of nature, night and day. And hot and cold. Pythagoras taught that every man was placed between vice and virtue and would eventually have to choose between the two. Numerology, numerical and alphabet reference chart. Okay, so one stands for A, J and S and it goes all the way up to 9, I and R. Name expressions, vowels number one, soul urge, inner expression. I am exclusive. Vowels are the soul of the word. It's life, so to speak. Vowels of a person's name bear a close relationship to a person's inner feelings, which is the total number of the vowel numbers known as the soul urge number. From the soul urge number, we learn more subtle aspects of the individual's sensitivity, fortitude and drive. This is expressed in a number of ways. Feelings, emotions, desires, fancies and so on. Okay, so this only appears in names that have a single vowel. For example, Anne, Jack, John, etc. Anne's name, outer expression, number two, let's be friends. A equals one, N equals five, N equals five. Again, you add all that up, it comes to 11, which equals one plus one equals two. Two equals Anne's outer expression number. A equals one, Anne's inner expression number, I am exclusive. Anne's vowel numbers total one is the need for individual expression, as indicated here. This soul's urge implies a strong desire for freedom, sufficient time to themselves, either to relax or undertake some kind of personal artistic expression. They will personally lead or direct every facet of their lives, and this is the only way they will feel happy and secure. And if not, they become restless. Their consistency of valid thoughts and ideas will lead to positions of leadership, whether in business, social affairs or marriage. Soul urge one are strong-willed and full of determination, and with these powers nothing can deter them. With their strong urge to lead the way, they will find it difficult to work under a boss or under someone or take orders or kowtow to anyone, and on occasions when this happens, they are judged dictatorial and domineering. For vowel soul urge number one, it will be best to go it alone, having your own business or a partner with a softer vibrational expression, where both can compromise. This will harmonize with Anne's outer expression of her full name, number two, let's be friends. All right, so that's it for number one's vowel inner expression. Our next video is going to be on number two's vowel inner expression. Okay, so please like this video, please share it, and also subscribe to our channel, it's free. And also make sure you hit that notification button so you can get updated with all our future videos. All right, until our next video on number two's inner expression, this is Sean from Mal's YouTube book site, YouTube channel. Good day on you.